Laugh of a ring winner. Ready. Okay, you guys. This, uh, this evening, I guess, it's kind of late today, I'm going to get it posted today. And uh, I had a couple questions about welding rods. So we're going to kind of explain it to you a little bit. Um, from your left to right, I believe, uh, this is fleet, fleet weld 5P plus, 8th inch, and 532. So what this is, is this is 6010. Fleet Six weld 5P plus, 1 8th inch. And then it says the same thing underneath that mat. 532. Right. So, this is your bead rod. This is, depending on your procedure, what you get asked to do, because they'll have a whole procedure on how they want the weld done. It's going to be 250 degrees before you strike an arc off on it. You're going to run the root with 6010. I mean, it could, I mean, whatever they decide it is, that's what you're going to follow. But, this is your bead rod. This is your root pass. Um, you got to get 5P plus. Now there's a 6010 and it's a red rod and it's the old bead rod. You don't want that stuff. They, they upgraded. So when you get this, it's measured by the metal. It's not measured by the flux. So this is an eighth inch rod. This is a 532. Can you see that good? Hmm. Yes. Okay. You can tell that that one is smaller. Yes, okay. So it's measured by the rod. So that's your eighth inch 532. Hand me one of those. Oh, uh, let's see, that one you can read really good. Okay, yeah, so when Jake said 6010 on it, on the rod, you can see that. It says 6010 rod. Okay, guys, now on the numbers, when you look at this, let me find a good box right here. Right here, Jen. Right, there you go. Can you read that? Okay, on the numbers, you're gonna see right here E7010. This is this is hippie pipeliner, but I'm gonna explain what the numbers mean. The E stands for electrode. Now at 7010, the first two numbers stands for its tensile strength, which is 70,000 psi per square inch. So it's what it takes for them to grab when you weld that thing one inch of weld it should be it takes seventy thousand pounds to pull that thing apart the one stands for the position and i'm going to post a picture if you guys really want to get intricate in it and and figure out what it all is the one stands for the position uh this stands for all positions and the zero stands for the uh what it's made out of low sodium uh low hydrogen all sorts of different rods that's what that stands for i'll post a picture you guys can go through it p is for pipeliner so okay five p plus that's your bead rod you need to get some of that you need to practice with it that's a good rod so now we get into our hot pass field cap capping rods. It's what we use right when we get done running the root. We grind it. Now we're moving into the hot pass fill and cap. What, Jen? Keep on. Oh, I thought you were. Okay. This is 70 plus. This is an 8010 rod. So 80,000 pound tensile strength. This is 532. They build it. Man, I've never welded with anything smaller than eighth inch in it. And I think they build it I think they only build it in a 3 16 is the big side of it. And I've welded a lot of 3 16 with it. Great rod. This is, mm, yeah, when, when we welded for Anadarko, this was 100% for the pipeline. Uh, we welded just a little on the fab end with it, mostly hippie. I don't know why they choose hippie on the fab end of it. Okay, so this is hippie. 7010, 70,000 pound tensile strength. They build it in an eighth and they build it in a 332. This is 532. Now there's different colors. Now this is some older rod. I keep this older rod because when I go to build little projects, it's not like burning up a brand new box. So the 8010 is gray, hippie is red. Hippie runs a lot like bead rod does. A lot of people love it. I do not like it. 
I do not like Hippie that much. It looks like it's stacking. It looks like it's gonna be like gorgeous weld, and it just, ugh. I like, I like 8010, but probably because for the first five years of my welding career, that's what I welded with. So, I'm getting better with the Hippie. I don't, don't overly enjoy it. But now we're talking pipe liners. Oh, this boy. stuff's like rods on steroids. This stuff is, I love pipeliners. Pipeline Hippie, Pipeline um, uh, 70 Plus, so 8010. They make it in an 8010, they make it in a 7010. I think they make, I know they make a bead rod in Pipeliner. I don't know what it's called. I've never used it, but I want to get some. So, Pipeliner, it's just got a little bit different of a coating, I think. I don't really understand really know the difference maybe it's got just a little bigger rod but it's measured in millimeters but it's it's funny you measure in millimeters so when you ask for pipe liner uh you're gonna say i want four millimeters four or five thirty two like i don't i don't i don't get that but whatever it's got the american breakdown yep. okay so how to order this stuff I just get on uh, just get on the internet, look it up. I guess uh, you can uh, E8010G or E7010P for the hippie, and uh, E7010P for the pipeliner. Just specify pipeliner if you want pipeline rod. Okay, now we're looking into the LH, low hydrogen, meaning low water content. When you run LH. 90% of the time they're gonna make you put this in a rod oven because it will actually when you crack these open These will start to draw in moisture from the outside and uh, and it'll ruin your rod so when you guys get a box of LH and they build it in eight or uh, one eighths five thirty twos three sixteenths they build them in all the rods sixteen feet uh, You're gonna want to get some cans does it protect your rods 110%? No. I mean, but it's going to make them last way longer than if you keep them in here. Well, then exposed lid. Yeah, exposed. So, get you a couple of lid, keep, get you a couple of these. Make sure your rods are taken care of. Uh, 7018, we use this mostly for like OLED, structural. I have welded quite a bit of pipe with it. Um, I mean, it's a great rod. Uh, mostly big, big heavy wall pipe is what we've welded with. So, uh, like 16 inch 840 wall, meaning it's like 840 wall. What is that? Thousand wall is one inch. So there you go. It's pretty close. I just tell. I just do what they tell me to do. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. So there's your rod, you guys. When you guys go to get this. Um, probably the best get you a box of 332 LH to practice your two inch and a six inch. I mean, this is all just for practice. When you go out in the field, you're gonna want some eighth inch. Um, gonna make your life really easy. But uh, get you a box of 332 to practice with running pipe so that you can get really good at it. Get you a box of fives and I mean, if you're just practicing with it. Get you a box of fives, get you a box of three sixteenths. Run the fives before you play with the three sixteenths because if you hook into a three sixteenths and you go to try to run a piece of pipe, you are going to be very frustrated and mad by the end of it and you're going to want to quit. So just kind of stick with uh, fives for right now, 532s or uh, four millimeters in the pipe liners. And then just get you a box of eighth inch feed rod, 5P plus. And uh, yeah, you guys should be good. You should only need three boxes of rod right now. If you were just figuring it out, eighth inch, 5P plus, 532 uh, filler rod, and then uh, 332 LH. So anyways, you guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope we kind of clarified it a little bit, told you what needed to happen where, and uh, Anyways, everybody be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. See ya.